to another yoga inspired vlog. This however is not a weekly vlog like normal, it is a weekend vlog instead. So come hang out with me for the weekend. I am going to pick up my best friend. We are going to the East Bridgeford Garden Centre and gonna have a wander around there and hang out, catch up and have some food as well. So let's go and pick her up. shops on the way back home needed some oat milk and we had these burgers tonight and these bro burgers from co-op are probably my favourite vegan burgers so we've got burgers, onions, vegan cheese slices and then some carbs to have and then to make some homemade chips for them as well. So that's our Friday night tea. Can we just take a moment to appreciate how cute bird look. Don't you look so handsome? So he has this on because he has some allergies don't you? Although I would argue that he has them pretty much all year round and he has been doing a lot of scratching. He already has some puritan as advised by the vet but I mean if he has any more puritan he will just be sleeping all the time. <laughs> so we're trying this and he seems to really like it because it acts as like a little headrest for him and he loves a little headrest, a little chin rest. And uh, it's so far it seems to be doing the trick. What you are witnessing right now is a fairly common phenomenon that happens to almost every teen girl. It is the moment when an unremarkable daughter is given a guitar and suddenly becomes the hottest man in the world. Scientists call it the Ed Sheeran effect. There is no known cure for it. the chips cooking away and burgers are ready to go in in about 10 minutes. Onions are cut up ready to cook. I am going to get changed into something more cosy and comfortable, although this is still very comfortable. <laughs> I'm going to level it up and go for even more comfy and cosy vibes. I love it. I really do. Um, it's just so easy to watch.
to share some early morning reflections and thoughts. But I'm looking back to you and I'm just going to enjoy this beautiful walk and really be in the present. Experiencing that change in season, although we're kind of still in the summer, we're starting to come towards the end of summer, and you start to notice these things don't you more in the in the mornings and in the evenings. But normally, I I would have still just been in bed at, at that time and wouldn't have even noticed that, that that change is happening. And you can see how dark it was when I woke up this morning. Um, yeah, it's just been as like last week where that change has been happening, and then on my walk this morning. Obviously, sunrise is getting that little bit uh, later. And I just thought that like, the animals are just behaving differently. And uh, yeah, it's just, uh, again, this practice of yoga, just being in the present moment and just beauty in the simplest of things, but just those simple things are powerful things. I always feel like nature can be such a good teacher for us as well. And there's, there's so many lessons for us to learn from life, they, they really are. And um, yes, I just have like quite a, a really deeply connected morning walk today. I was going to share the that reflection while I was on the walk, but you know, I was just like conscious then obviously then I wouldn't be in that present moment. And also just kind of appreciating the fact that the mornings are going to get darker and that walk that I do, I won't be able to do much longer until next year when it gets lighter in the morning so I'm just making the most of it um right now it's also then got me thinking about maybe changing the time that I go for a walk because now that I've been getting up early I kind of then will start work that bit earlier and so everything's well everything's just shifted that bit further forward hasn't it so I'm just like it's going to be dark when I go for a walk and prefer it I just feel a little safer if it was lighter so yeah I might just need to just play around with the timing that I go for a walk. But I like to explore that kind of when it comes to it. It's just a, new, a reflection and observation that I had made. As it is Saturday, that means it is a working day for me. Well, working morning. Last week I did work in the afternoon on Saturday. However, my normal working routine is just Saturday morning. I, I've got a class this morning at the studio and normally I would do this kind of stuff, uh, a little bit of admin work, when I'd get back from the studio. However, because I've been waking up earlier, I've been just doing it uh, at this time before I head down to the studio. I'm sure it's like about seven o'clock now or something. Um, so let me get my diary out, have a look at my to-do list, work through that and then I'll be getting ready to head down to the studio. Uh... 
Bert and I have been having some snuggles since I came back from the studio. It is awake now. Hello, Bert. <laughs> oh, no. Are you snoring while you're awake? I think you are. I now need to go and get ready because I'm meeting my friend for some lunch and for a catch up. We're going to the 13th Element. Her burgers are insane. If you live in Nottingham or if you're ever visiting Nottingham, I highly recommend having one of their burgers. I have not been to their restaurant yet, though, so I'm very excited and looking forward to that. So let's go and get ready. I need to get ready. Come on. Yeah, no, I need you to move because I need to get ready. Come on. That was just an absolute load of deliciousness. The whole thing was just amazing. And of course, it was so, so nice to catch up with my lovely friend. I am at home since now though. It's not far from where 13th Element is. So I thought, oh, I will come here, have a little wander around and see if there are any treasures to be discovered in the wonderful world of home sense. having a wander around home sense just enjoyed the wandering in itself and just the joy of like seeing really nice pretty things there were a couple of bits that i did think about buying but i thought i don't need them and i'm just trying to be like really mindful about consumption of things i did really like these small plates that were side plates loved the colour of them now if they would have been some like bigger like pasta salad bowls i think i would have got them i didn't need any side plates and it was just purely just because i thought it looked really pretty so i made the decision not to not to get that and there was a little um it was supposed to be like a little plant stand it wasn't huge and i really liked that and i thought oh that'd be nice that i could put my coffee on in the morning in my yoga room but i thought i don't, I don't need that like i don't need it at all so I decided not to get those things. Um, however, what I did get, got a few presents. I bought Ollie some sweets. I bought Bert a little sheep toy. It's his birthday today. He's seven. And then I bought this candle, which is called Golden Hour, and it's a tropical citrus. And I thought it was a really pretty colour. And I put that on the coffee table. And then I also bought these treats that will be really nice to have with a cup of tea in the evening. This morning I let myself have a lie-in. I think that's what I'm gonna do on a Sunday. Just like let myself sleep in. And I think it's important to have have that balance. So yeah, there's no 5 a.m. wake up this morning. And then our food shopping got delivered, so I sorted all that out, planned ready for the week ahead. And then we went out for some lunch. I have just been currently chilling out on the bed. And now I'm going to do some online shopping, actually. I just need to get a couple of bits because next week I am adding something new into my routine and I need a couple of bits to be able to do that thing. I'll share it with you in next week's vlog. But yeah, I'm really excited about adding that into my routine. I 
don't show you when I sit here and have my smoothie and my coffee is this is the time that I practice Spanish. I use an app on my phone, but I also use my phone as a camera to do the vlogging, so I can't do the both at the same time, but this is when I would do it. And it's a practice known as habit stacking, so it's when you're adding on a new habit to something that you already do. So what has been like a very well established habit is having a coffee and having a smoothie at this time. And so it means that I just sit down and then it's a perfect opportunity to practice my Spanish. I don't do it for very long, um, but it all adds up over time. I'll share with you one of the cards that I pulled this morning. So I pull one every morning from the Starseed Oracle deck and also the Work Through Light but I just thought I'd share this one with you. You're the artist of your life and your life is a canvas. Take responsibility for your ability to create. Earth is known as a planet of manifestation and your present moment is based on your past thoughts and beliefs. Your current thoughts determine your future. What kind of life do you want to create for the future? What are you being called to create? Reconnect with your, reconnect with your manifesting power and align your thoughts, feelings and actions with the vibration that matches them. It's never too late to start and no experience is required. All you need is an open heart and mind and consistent daily action. If you're not sure what you'd like to create, start instead with a feeling of deep gratitude for all that is good in your life right now. Stay out loud what you're most thankful for. Look for the good in your life and one thing will be certain. You'll find yourself attracting more and more good experiences into your world. This card is inviting you to see your entire life as a canvas and the picture is completely up to you. Color it with your thoughts and feelings. Create the life you most long to live. You may be called to be more creative in your everyday life. What have you been called to create? And how can you express yourself more creatively? We have to be really mindful that we don't fall into a narrative of telling ourselves that it's too late to start, um, we're too old, uh, I've always been this way. Things like that and phrases like that that we tell ourselves can be really limiting and actually it is never too late to create what is in alignment for you right now and connecting with what is in alignment is a practice of satya, is the practice of following your truth and getting really clear on what is in alignment and what isn't in alignment will really then help inspire you to take action that you need and the action that we take in yoga, we know it as the practice of tapas, and it does require perseverance and determination and commitment and discipline. But that is how we really take manifestation into, from this visualization into becoming our truth. 2022 has been a year that I've really stepped into the intentional practice of manifestation. I think it's something that for many years now, I have done it without maybe realizing I've done it, been doing it, but I have really intentionally been using it as a practice. And I am really feeling into the changes that it is starting to bring into life. And there's intentions that I set, you know, eight months ago, and it has taken eight months of consistent daily action and practice that has started to make those visions come true and we are going to be entering into a new month soon we're coming into the end of august and stepping into september and there's even things now that i'm like that i want to level up and i want to change i'm not waiting until the new year to start i'm starting now and really just starting to see that life is a canvas and that it, it's never too late it's all we need is an open heart and mind and consistent daily action. It all starts with the mind, but we need it to reflect through our behaviours and our intentions as well. So a little update on Bert's collar. It is working very well and helping with his seasonal allergies that just get so heightened in the, in the summer. And it's actually meaning that he can't reach his paws to lick, which is what he would do and make them quite sore and then also he'd try and then scratch his head and his ears and yeah his head's just clearing up nicely now and Bert is always very partial to a little headrest so it just means he's just got a cushion walking around with him 
Um, a delivery driver yesterday said he got lucky just come back from being on an aeroplane. <laughs> but it's just making it even more chilled than before, isn't it? So because it was Bert's birthday, I bought him a new toy and it took me a long time to choose this toy because Bert always likes to have a toy that has a like a face on that he can get his mouth around it. So we always have to look at something with a nose that he can hold on to. Um, he has shown very little interest in his toy and in fact turned his head away from it quite a few times. But then Ollie then was like, I bought him another toy because he didn't like his sheep. And so I was bought him this shark with a great big nose on it and he he's really looked, took to a shark instead. There's two toys. This nice little sheep and this little shark. Oh, we're going for the sheep. Are we? Going for the sheep? No? Oops. Do the bloops. Oh, got a lick. I'm very conscious of the length of these vlogs. And I'm also very respectful of your time and your energy. And it's something that I'm so grateful that you, you share with me in these vlogs. Something that is also really important and something that I'm very conscious of is that I'm not just contributing to highlight reel on social media. And whilst this weekend has had lots of high waves, this weekend has also had some low waves. I have been journeying through some anxiety this week and the cause of that anxiety, what I'm aware of has been some things happening personally, but then also I am feeling quite hormonal because it is the start of my cycle and something that I'm just reflecting on and recognizing is that I do tend to be a lot more anxious. Now being high vibrational is about embracing all those fields that, that they're not low vibes they are still high vibes what is low vibrational is when we don't allow ourselves to feel and I do very much allow myself to feel but it's when I'm in those more journeying through those more challenging waves that I just need that time to be alone and that time just to journey through it without then um having the camera there whilst I'm journeying through that and that's very much what I needed in my asthma practice on Saturday morning and yesterday was I was feeling I was feeling anxious however I did not journey through that anxiety in a high vibrational way I recognized yesterday that I was feeling anxious and that in itself is high vibrational to be able to recognize that However, I really let my behaviours go towards more a very low vibrational state. And I always explain to my soul care club members, uh, visualising that we have these, this high vibe version of ourselves and this, sorry, we do the high vibe over here, the high vibe version of ourselves and then the low vibrational version of ourselves. And we give strength to whichever one we feed. Now, yesterday, I really fed this one and it did me no good at all and just actually added more anxiety to the anxious feeling that I was journeying through. So I had this initial initial trigger and I just took it that way instead of the high vibrational way. And I reflect on that and I reflect on it with compassion. However, I am taking action, tapping into tapas and yeah, take taking action to make sure that I I'm more aware of maybe the fact that I'm just feeling a little bit more sensitive and vulnerable right now and I just need to give myself some extra encouragement and support to feed the high vibrational version of myself. We give life to what we give energy to and this is when we need to recognize that we have a choice and when we choose which path to take just starting to recognize that we are actually then creating neural pathways. So if we kind of fall back into maybe old ways of being or whichever path you take, just recognize that that one is going to get stronger. So by either spiraling and going in the path of a low vibrational path, we are then making that neural pathway really strong or we can make then the high vibrational path really strong. And that's, that's, that's where I want to be. That's, I want to be feeding that one. And so 
with reflection, with discipline, I'm going to go there, I'm going to journey through that. It is not easy and it takes these times and moments to kind of reflect where the mindset has gone, reflect with compassion and kindness, but the, the more that we can catch ourselves out that we're doing it, then those distractions, sorry, not, not necessarily distractions, but we are then more aware of it and then we just start to feed the path that we want to take. I hope that maybe inspires you to make a reflection on some of the ways that you have been responding to a challenging time and just start to take your power back and recognize that you get to choose which version of yourself you feed as that's the one that's going to show up in life. Anyway, I am going to end this vlog here. Thank you so much for hanging out with me for the weekend. I look forward to taking you along with me for, for this week. It's Monday right now, and I'm looking forward to then vlogging this week too. Uh, yeah, so thank you for hanging out with me, and I will see you soon on another video.